Welcome back to my channel. Business lessons straight from the boxing ring. As we gear up to watch Tyson teach Paul a thing or two about real punches, remember that whether you're in the ring or in the boardroom, it's all about strategy, resilience, and a good dose of confidence. Comment below on who you think is gonna win this match. And do not forget to punch on that subscribe button. And if you're thinking, I'll just wing it, remember, that's exactly what gets you knocked out. Like Paul's likely fate against Mr. Tyson. Let's get down to the lessons. Lesson one, know your opponent. You study your opponent's every move. Tyson, the man who has probably punched more boxes than Paul has uploaded those YouTube videos, knows it very well. You learn your strength. And Tyson surely knows what it is. Weaknesses and that one annoying habit of dropping their left hand after a jab, something Paul would have mastered if he spent less time vlogging and more time training. In business, it's the same. Know your competition. Inside out. Let's get down to lesson number two. Adapt or get hit. Just like boxing, flexibility is key in business. Tyson's adaptability in the ring is legendary. What happened here? Paul, on the other hand, let's see how he adapts when Tyson's fist is coming at him faster than his subscriber count. In business, you have to be just as quick. Markets change. If you're not ready to pivot, you're going down faster than Paul's chances of winning this match. Adapt or end up flat on your back wondering what went wrong. Lesson number three, take the hits and keep going. Boxing is all about resilience. Tyson has taken hits from the best, I guess. He comes back stronger. Paul has taken a few hits too, mostly to his boxing reputation. But you have to get back up. If Paul can master the courage to face Tyson, you can surely bounce back from a bad, bad quarter. Just make sure your recovery doesn't look as shaky as Paul's will after a Tyson's uppercut. Lesson number four. Confidence is key, my friend. In the ring, you can make the difference between winning and losing. Tyson's confidence is built on a lifetime of real fights. Paul's confidence built on a lifetime of filming himself, probably. In business, you need to radiate confidence. Channel your inner Tyson, because if you go in with Paul-level confidence, well, outcome isn't going to be very pretty. Lesson number five, marketing matters. This is where I'll give it for Paul. I must confess, Paul has an upper hand. He's a lean, mean marketing machine. Boxing matches are as much about the hype as they are about the fight. Tyson versus Paul isn't just a match, it's a marketing masterpiece. And let's be honest, Paul's greatest skill is marketing himself. In business, never underestimate the power of good marketing. And even if your product is the Jake Paul of its industry, with enough hype, you might just get people to watch it, at least once. But remember, like in boxing, substance eventually triumphs over style. Tyson proves. I'm gonna give you a bonus lesson. The money is in the marketplace. Let's not forget, boxing is big business. The boxing market is worth billions, with top fighters earning millions per match. Tyson, even in his later years, can command a massive payday. Paul, with his YouTube fame, is also ranking in the cash. Though, let's be real, his earnings are more about the spectacle than the skill. For example, Tyson and Paul could be looking at a multi-million dollar earning from this fight alone. Compare that with the big names like Floyd Mayweather, who made upward of $300 million for his fight against Conor McGregor. And you see the scale? In business, the lesson here is clear. There's a lot of money to be made if you can create the right buzz. So there you have it, folks. I'll see you in the next vlog.